Amanil Kumar and in this video we will derive the formula the derivative of sin inverse x is equal to 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Now before getting there let's try to understand or review the sin inverse x function itself. Now whenever we write we can write this as let's say y equals to sin inverse x right. So whenever you write like this, it really means that y is the angle. We are expecting the angle and is always in radians, right? We can actually rearrange this and write as sine y equals to x, right? Now if sine y is x, it reminds you of a triangle. Uh, let me make that triangle here. When we say that sine y is x, let me take an acute angle. So, so we, if we make a triangle like this, in this triangle, if sine y is x, then the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse is x, right? And this angle is y for us. Now, in this triangle, let me say O P Q. We can find O Q as equal to square root of 1 square minus x square right so so that is oq so this is square root of 1 minus x square great also you should remember that sine inverse x is defined when this angle y is between what values minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 right so so that is the domain of this particular inverse function that is to say it this is minus pi by 2 right and that is pi by 2 so if you go counterclockwise positive clockwise negative that's the whole idea right so that's the background and now let's continue with the solution so what we have here is we can write this as uh, uh, we need to find what d d x of sine inverse x is y is sine inverse x we can rearrange and write in this form right so, so what we have here is x is equals to sine y right so if i differentiate with respect to x on both the sides that is differentiate with respect to x on both the sides I get 1 here, right? I get 1 here and d dx of sine y. Now, d dx of sine y will be derivative of sine y, which is cos y times dy dx. So, from here, we can find what dy dx is. So, that will be 1 over cos y. So 1 over cos y is dy dx. So we have found the derivative. y for us is sine inverse x, right? So y is sine inverse x. So from here, it implies, so instead of y, we are writing d dx instead of y, sine inverse x is equal to 1 over cos y, right? Now, 1 over cos y. What is cos y? If you look at this diagram, you will find that cos y is the ratio of adjacent side to hypotenuse, right? So, 1 over cos y will be 1 over, that comes here, ratio of hypotenuse, this adjacent side, which is 1 minus x squared, correct? So, from this triangle, straight away, you can get this. So the derivative of this particular function is 1 over 1 minus x squared. Now here, another important thing to note is that since the value of y is actually between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, what do you think cos y will be? So that implies within this in quadrant 1 and 4, cos y is always positive, right? So this implies cos y is always positive. Is it okay? Always positive. 
and this derivative indicates that whenever you do square root you only take positive value so it is always positive right so I hope you understand one the derivative of sine inverse x is 1 over 1 minus x squared as you can see it is always positive and that is a basic concept which links both the things I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps thank you and all the best